Okay, so here's a Vortex style compost tea brewer that I recently built. I wanted to talk about how it works and how I use it to make compost tea. So if you're looking to make something similar, you have a, you know, a basic setup of how to do it. I'm not going to do a how-to video, but what I will do is not in this video, in a different one, I'll go over each part so you can see it and I'll also have a list of all the parts in the description. So if you want to recreate it, you can go ahead and do so. This with a 40 gallon brute tote garbage can. Um, I got my idea from who I don't know, is Vortex Mike, I think he called himself. He made a tea brewer very similar to this, except for instead of having the two arms, it had four. I made one with the four and I didn't really like it. It was sort of too complicated and I did it with two arms and it works much better in my opinion. Can In the bottom, I have a drain hole. So the water is going to fall through that hole and it's going to go into down here. This is a, a five-way splitter I have, but I would actually just use a four-way. I just happen to have this laying around. So the water drains down here, fills up these arms, and I have an Eco Air 5 commercial air pump. So what happens is the water drains into here and the pump blows air into the PVC here at this T and we're leveraging air. The air bubbles are going to lift up the water and redistribute it on top. I'm going to fill this up and run it and show you guys exactly what's going on. And the same thing happens on the other side. So we're getting air lift up and it's being drained from the center. And this action cr ends up creating a really strong vortex. Um, right here, I just have this is my drain spout. So it's closed. You can connect your hose or whatever you need to drain it. Water, I'm going to get it as close to the bottom of this pipe up here as I can, where it's going to redistribute the water. Um, yeah, so I'm going to run this and show you how the vortex forms. And then I'm also going to show you how I make the tea and add it into here. Worm tea concentrate. Castings that I recently sifted out of my worm bin. Worm castings is some of the best stuff you can use to make compost tea. It's full of beneficial microbes. Um, has a ton of humic and fulvic acids, which are going to help feed the microbes. And it also has water soluble nutrients. Um, what I'm really after is the microbes, not the nutrients. So uh, I'll take a couple scoops of this and add it. And this is about a gallon or two of water. Cause I don't, I don't want to put the, the castings directly in the brewer, so I kind of just soak it in water for a few minutes and stir it around. And then I'll strain it into another bucket. So I'll strain out the material and then that gets poured into the brewer. You can use um, a paint strainer, probably works the best and you can reuse it. I just happen to have this right now. Brewer is filled up. I have it just below these pipes. It's maybe like an inch below the pipe. So let's go ahead and plug it in and you can see the vortex form. So we just turned it on. You can see the water's bubbling up from these two arms. When I first made this, I only, I had the elbows, just these two elbows, and I ended up adding these extensions because here the water was just getting tossed right here, kind of going at the edge. So when I have it right here and then directly on the opposite side, it's much more symmetrical and it, we get a more powerful vortex. Now we'll see how long it actually takes to create the vortex. You can see it's starting to form. 
there it is. Sorry, the sun just came on the other side of the house, so it's harder to see right now. So yeah, the water is draining down here, filling up these arms. The air is being blown into here. Air lifts the water up, so it's getting oxygenated as it comes up through the air, and then it redistributes it right on top. Aeration just through the pump, but also the vortex creates like a vacuum and it's actually pulling air into it. So it's probably, we're probably getting a little extra um, aeration from the vortex itself. Um, but the reason why I chose to make a vortex brewer instead of just a traditional brewer that bubbles is because I believe um, the spinning of the water, what we're, what's happening is we're energizing, we're adding energy to the system and when water is moving especially in a, a spiral motion it creates um, structured water or living water um, this is kind of on the fringe of science water is a weird subject tea all all I have to do now is add my concentrate that I made here I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that into the brewer and that's how I add my biology I don't put the worm castings and my compost directly in the brewer because I don't want the the particles to clog anything up and mess up the vortex so that's just a liquid concentrate that's has the microbes in it and yeah that's a that's about it hours um, I'm hoping to get a microscope soon and actually start checking out the microbes and kind of coming up with more recipes of how I make my tea but for now I just kind of do it just brew the worm tea in there and whatever I get is what I get I'm not studying it quite yet um, but yeah if you like this design I'm gonna have another video where I'll go over each part and I'll list all the parts in the description so if you want to build it yourself you can go ahead and do so